Hicksfield Soul AI tutorial and review. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with using Hexfield. So let's jump right in. Now we're going to be discussing Hexfield pricing at the end of this video, so make sure to watch till the end. Starting off, first off, I have just signed on to my account and I do have a starter subscription on Hexfield. Hexfield is not available for free, so you do have to upgrade, but it definitely does provide you with a lot of value so I do think that it is one of the most worth it tools out there. Now, what is Hicksfield Soul? When you directly log on to your Hicksfield account, you can click on Hicksfield Soul, and this is their special video editor or photo editor. You guys can see that it all has a certain type of aesthetic. This is a specific AI model that they have created for photos, and this has a high aesthetic photo model. No matter what you're creating, no matter what type of motion you're including, it is able to bring this dreamlike and editorial look. It truly looks like it's something out of a magazine. So to use Hexfield Soul, simply click on create on the top and then you can click on image. Once you click on image on the bottom, you will see Hexfield Soul. So they currently have three models. You have GPT image, you also have Flux Context Max, and then you have Hexfield Soul. Now you want to just choose whatever one you prefer. I'm just going to be using Hexfield Soul and I have created a few images using Hexfield Soul that I'm going to show you guys. Starting off with this image, now my prompt within this was to create a woman wearing a long white dress emitting a gentle radiant glow. This is the entire prompt. Now it created three of uh, four variations of this. Then I created these four images using Hexfield Soul and then I created these two images using the same prompt as this one but I used the other Flux Context Max model which created these results and you can see how this looks like an editorial image whereas this looks like something you would usually just scroll on when you're scrolling on socials. So there's a really different angle to the way pictures are created and you guys can see this image was the GPT photo model and this is you know very cartoonistic. Now again I used the Hexfield Soul model to create this and within the Soul model you even have more customizations. So on the bottom you have your prompt box and within your prompt box first off you're going to select Hexfield Soul. Then you have your aspect ratio so you can go 1 by 1, 4 by 3, 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. I'm going to go with 16 by 9 and then you have your quality. Then after that you have prompt enhancement if you want to enhance your prompt or not. If you're writing a super detailed prompt on your own you're not going to need prompt enhancement but if you are someone that is not going to be writing a detailed prompt you can turn this on and based upon your general guidelines within the prompt it will create and make the prompt more detailed then on the right side you actually have visual styles so if you are uncertain about what type of visual style you want you can just proceed with general however if you want a certain visual style and you know what type it is you can actually scroll down and see all the amazing visual styles. So I want to just show you guys all the different styles that are available, starting off with something like mixed media. Now I'm going to take the same prompt that I used to create this one. So I'm going to copy this prompt and within this Hicksfield Soul AI image, I used the general model. However, if I take the same prompt and enter it over here, you guys can see that I have used mixed media and you guys will see there's going to be a significant difference when it comes to the overall images that are created. This is because different types of media styles that you're choosing are going to impact the soul model differently. So we're going to take a look at the different styles that we can incorporate. Now there's one more thing you can actually incorporate within the soul model. This is characters. So if you click on character, you can even build your own custom AI character and have that character be placed throughout multiple different images. And you guys can see this is what the mixed media has created for us. And it's a very different image than these ones. Now, if I take the same prompt and then I choose something like, let's say, if I choose something like sand and then I create with that, you guys will see it's going to look very different. So within mixed media, you can see how it looks very different. Although it's incorporating those elements, they are being incorporated in very different ways, but it still gives off a very high fashion editorial and realistic look. Now we're just going to wait for the sand media to be created so that we can explore that as well. And just like so, our images have been created and you guys can see 
how different this looks in comparison to this. And you guys can see the four variations. They're all very beautiful, but they all are within that certain motion style. Now, if I choose to add maybe something that is a bit graphic, so I'm going to go with graphic art and I want glitching or maybe something that's a bit surreal and I want giant accessory. And then if I click on generate, you will see that it's going to take one accessory, one, you know, element of that particular character that we're creating and it's going to enhance that character in a very exaggerated manner so i'm just going to wait until this has been created so i can show you guys all the different variations that you can play around with and this is what i love about using hexfield is that you guys can see now we have an enlarged accessory and it created enlarged bags in this one and they have you know that like this huge satin bag that kind of looks like a couch or a cushion but it's actually just a handbag now from here you can proceed with adding more styles or adding your own characters if you want and you might think hey this can't be the only thing Hexfield does. Well, it's not. Hexfield does create some amazing images using Hexfield Soul. But if you want to further elevate these images into videos, you can go into Create and then go into Video. From here, you can take any of the images that you have created using Hexfield and you can upload them over here and then choose the type of video style you want to incorporate. And then you can create a video out of your Hexfield images, further mixing the world and creating different and unique ideas and art styles. Now, all of this is available at a very reasonable price. Hexfield pricing starts at only $9 and goes up to $93. For $9, you get 150 credits per month and you have commercial use. So you can take any of the art that you've created and you can commercially sell this or you can, you know, monetize this. Then after that, they have their pro version starting at $45. However, you get a 58% discount on both their pro and ultimate plans for the first month if you choose monthly billing. After that you get a 35% discount on the next month and then after that in the ultimate plan you get a 15% discount in the next month and then after your first two months are completed you're going to have to pay full price which is $45 for the pro. This allows you to have three concurrent jobs and you have access to Hexfield Speak, Soul, In Paint, and Characters. Uh, within the ultimate plan you have access to Soul, In Paint, upcoming features, access to starting and ending frames, turbo models, and you can run four concurrent jobs together. So Hexfield truly is a very unique platform that offers some AI creation tools that a lot of people have not imagined about as of yet. They have so many different and creative ways which you can incorporate your images and create your images in and you're able to truly build something unique and this brings out a different side of hyper realism because we all are familiar with mid journey and a lot of the other ai tools like vo3 they're focusing on only creating super hyper realistic images and videos whereas this different side of editing and creating with hexfield is very unique in itself so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe